So back to my original diagram of my simple circuit and the component that we're actually going to talk about right now is the idea of a switch. So there's basically the idea and anything that acts as a control in a circuit is going to be able to turn the circuit on and off. We were using uh, as, as switches, you know, which is often the most common uh, type of control, we were using in our circuits at the beginning of the year, we were just using the, 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 the actual physical action of clamping and unclamping alligator clips, which would actually sever the current flow, because that's what a switch does. A switch is going to create a gap inside that closed loop, that closed circuit. And when that gap appears, electrons cannot actually move if there is a gap in the actual loop. And we're going to talk about what it means to have a closed circuit and an open circuit. So if I look at my simple actual uh, circuit diagram, and I draw this as such, so I will draw an actual object here, like so. There's my light bulb, back to my power supply. Okay, this is my positive, this is my negative. Now, the object that we're going to be focusing on here is the idea of this switch. And the cool thing about a switch is that it will control whether or not the circuit is turned on. Sometimes this is an actual button or a little knob or something that you press. Okay, like a light switch. When you flick that switch, you're either closing or opening that circuit. Um, and we can see that other actual technical objects will use the idea of magnetism as a switch, where when two pieces of metal are attracted to one another because they're magnetic and it forces them to touch, that will actually close the loop. Okay, so in the case of the image that I've just drawn, where I've circled the switch in red, you'll see that there is a gap there. Okay, this actual gap right here, electrons cannot make the jump. Once they leave the power supply, they cannot make the jump from here to here. This metal or these wires have to be touching. When there is a gap in the actual um, circuit, okay, when the switch is open, we call this an open circuit when there is a gap. Okay, so an open circuit means no power. Okay, so no current flow. Just like when we actually have, I'll draw the same circuit diagram right here, when we actually have our switch hit down onto the actual circuit, and the loop is closed. Okay, here's my light bulb. My actual current is going to continue on and it doesn't have any gaps to jump. Okay, it'll go into the light bulb, it'll come out of the light bulb, back to the power supply. When we have this loop being totally closed, okay, so a closed circuit means that there is current flow. And that can be a little confusing because closed you tend to think that, oh no, no, if something's closed it's not working. When in fact an open circuit is the one that is not working. And it has to do with the actual space or gap here. An open circuit has a gap. A closed circuit has no gap. Finally, the last little section of our course has to do with the whole purpose of a circuit, really. Anytime we have an electric circuit somewhere, 
in some kind of appliance or in a home or doing something, what it is essentially doing is it's allowing for electrical energy to come in from some sort of source, whether it's battery, uh, photovoltaic, or, you know, a, basically a wall unit. Um, it's got an actual purpose. And that purpose, or sorry, an electrical outlet, and that actual purpose is so that that energy can be transformed. This goes back to chapter three, where we looked at the idea of energy transformations. And it also goes back to grade eight, where we first started talking about energy transformations. So being able to look at um, some kind of electrical circuit within a technological object and being able to understand that electrical energy goes in, a transformation occurs, and another type of energy comes out. Whether the object vibrates, whether the object gives off light, whether the object heats up, whether the object, uh, you know, creates a chemical reaction, whatever. The whole purpose of the vast majority of circuits in electrical engineering is to allow for some form of energy transformation.